This is a training video on how to control the console remotely from computer. First thing you have to do is connect to the audio network. The name is audio and the password is sound system, but it's a hidden network. In the edit app, you'll have to click setup and the network tab. Then you have to enter the IP for the console. Both consoles have the IP address of 10.0.1.10. Once the image shows up, it's ready to connect. Always sync from the console to the PC. This process takes a while, so I sped it up. From here, I can show you that I, my controls on the computer affect the console as shown. The cool thing is, from the computer, you can recall scenes that are stored on the computer as shown. This is a test scene, which I created. As you can see, it recalls it on the console. You can also recall scenes on the console by clicking console in the show control and then selecting a scene that's already on the console. This process isn't very stable and takes a long time as you can see. Now I'm going to show you how to control the console from an iPad. First we have to connect to the network. By going to settings you can open your Wi-Fi menu then select other because it's a hidden network we have to find it the name again is audio and the security is a WPA2 the password sound system it may take a while for it to connect but once it has connected you're ready to use the app this is the X32 app, which is the same as the M32. Either will work. Click the I under demo mode and enter your IP address in the console window. Again, it's 10.0.1.10. And once you've entered the IP address, you can click connect. The control is just the same as you would use on a computer, only you have the benefit of using your touch interface. I'll play some music and demonstrate it again. As you can see, the faders respond to my touch. Scenes work a little differently in the iPad. The scene menu is up, in, up at the top. When you click scenes, they appear as little tickets. As you slide the tickets from left to right, it recalls the scene. It shows you what's currently recalled and what's on deck.